Alright then gang, so in a previous tutorial I showed you how we could use this image on the home page and we did that by putting the image inside this static folder right here. And because we put it in the static folder, Gatsby made it public to the browser. And if we just wanted to use it in a component, we could do, we could just reference it like so because it was made public to the browser. Now, images out of the box, when we use the static folder like this, they are not really optimized for the web. Someone viewing the website on a mobile is going to ultimately download the same image, if it's a big image, as those viewing it on a desktop, and that's not really needed. And also, they're not going to load in lazily, they're not resized automatically, etc. So they're not optimized in any way, shape or form. Now, when we're using Gatsby, we can use a Gatsby plugin or a number of them together to optimize images and to solve these kinds of problems. Now, this plugin is called Gatsby Image. So the Gatsby Image plugin gives us access to an image component which we can use. And also, we need two other plugins installed for this to work as well. If we scroll down, it might show us this. We also need to install Gatsby Transformer Sharp and Gatsby Plugin Sharp. So these other plugins are responsible for processing our images and creating extra image options for our GraphQL layer. The idea being is that we're going to use a query to get the optimized images we need instead of just referencing a public address. So let's start by installing this thing right here. So I'm going to copy that, open up my terminal and come over here and I'm going to paste in and press enter. And then also while that's going on, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to grab this because these are the other two things we need to install as well. So remember, this one gives us access to the image component, which we're going to use. And this one right here is responsible for processing the images and giving us a GraphQL interface. So I'm going to copy that as well. Come back over here, paste them in and press enter to install. All right. So now that's done. The next thing I need to do is come to the source folder. Let me just close some of these and create an images folder. Now remember, this has to go inside the source folder because we're going to process those images. If we place it inside static, then it's just going to be made available to the browser. We're going to do some processing on these images and they're going to get added to our GraphQL layer. So first things first, I'm just going to move this banner from the static into this images folder right here. Now, the next thing we need to do is open up Gatsby config because right here we need to configure the plugins we just installed. And the two plugins we need to add are these two right here. I'm just going to paste them in Gatsby Transformer Sharp and Gatsby Plugin Sharp. So that was those two things over here, Gatsby Transformer Sharp and Gatsby Plugin Sharp. So we register those two plugins right here. Now we also need to do one more thing. We need to add in a file system source instance for the images folder, because even though we have these, Gatsby still doesn't know to look inside this images folder, because we are going to use this file thing over here to grab the images and it needs access to that directory. So let me now copy this thing right here, this instance of Gatsby source file system and paste in another one down here. Now we're going to call that images and we're going to change this to images as well. So now we've done this, we can open up our terminal. We're going to cancel out of the current process and we're going to run Gatsby develop again so that it catches these changes and we can preview all of that in graphical. All right then, so the way now that we would get an image is by first of all going to file because we just want a single image. So we go to file and then I'm going to use an argument called relative path because I want to dictate which file I want to get. If I don't do this, then it's just going to get any old file it finds. But I want to say what the relative path is going to be. Now, in our case, it's just going to be banner.png. That is the relative path relative to this folder. So all I need to do is pass into this equals and then banner.png like so. So we're telling it to find that particular file. Now, once we have that, we can come down here and you can see we have this child image sharp. So remember these plugins right here, image sharp or transformer sharp and plugin sharp. This is what it's using to give us these things right here. So if I open this, we have different properties and the properties I'm interested in are either fixed or fluid. So you can have two different types 
of image. You can either have a fixed one, which isn't really responsive, or a fluid one, which is with different sizes. So we're gonna go with a fluid one. And then you can get several different properties for this image. So for example, I might want the source and the source sets and maybe the sizes, whatever you want. And if I click play on this, notice we get all of this data back. So we have the source, we have the source set, and we have the sizes as well. So all we need to do is make this kind of query from the page that we want to use this image in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab all of this, first of all, and I'm going to go to the home page. So let me open up pages and go to the home page. And then at the bottom, we're gonna make a query. So we'll say export const and this const is called query. We set that equal to GraphQL. Click on this at the bottom, make sure it's imported at the top and then back ticks like so, and we can paste in this query. Okay then, so we have this query. Let me just rename this. I'm gonna call this banner. Now this is okay, but instead of us writing out a load of different properties that we want to get here, we can use something known as a fragment. And we have one here called Gatsby image sharp fluid, like so. And what this does is basically package up a number of different properties that we need to pass in to the image component that we're gonna use in a minute. So all we need to do is pass those properties in. This collates them all together, dot, 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 Gatsby image sharp fluid. So it includes things like the source, like the source set, etc. So that's the query. Now what do we need to do to show this image on the page? Well, remember, we also installed this other package. If we scroll up, we can see we installed this as well, Gatsby image. And this thing gives us access to an image component that we can use and we pass in this query data to that component. So if I come to the top, what I'm gonna do is come to the bottom and paste in this. So import IMG from Gatsby image, the package we installed. Now, instead of this image down here, we're gonna use that new image component. So capital I M G and then it's a self-closing tag. And all we need to do is pass in a fluid prop. This is because we're using a fluid image. If we used a fixed image, we'd use fixed instead. And the same down here, we'd use fixed instead of fluid if we wanted a fixed image. But we're using fluid, and all we need to do is pass in whatever we get back right here. So how do we access that data? Well, first of all, let me comment this out and take in the data by destructuring it from the props. We've seen all this before, and I'm gonna log this data to the console, just so we can see how we can drill into that data to get the things that we need. So if I save this and go over to the homepage, I'm gonna inspect, and let me just refresh and then go to the console. And notice we have this file object right here. So inside file, we have child image sharp, and inside child image sharp, we have this fluid prop. This is the object right here that we have to pass in to this thing inside the image component. And like I said, it contains a load of different things. These things are right here. So all we need to do is extract it from the data. So all I'm gonna do down here is uncomment this first of all, and I'm gonna pass in the data dot file dot child image sharp dot fluid like so. And if I save this now, hopefully we'll see that image on the page. Let me just get rid of this and then I'm just gonna refresh this page. And now this is working. So if I right click this and inspect, you're gonna notice that this is not just an image tag, but also if we scroll up, it's a picture tag with a source set as well with different image sizes. And that means that if I load this on a smaller device, like a phone, it's not gonna download the large image. It's gonna download one of the smaller images that Gatsby has created for us now. So it's much more web optimized. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, sometimes when you're using Gatsby image like this, it might, give you some kind of error on the page. A lot of the time, to cure that error, all you have to do is cancel out of the server, delete the cache and delete the public folder, then restart the server and then it should work. So hopefully that will solve your errors for you. But we are gonna be using images this way going forward using these plugins. And next up, we're gonna add images for each of our different projects right here.